Good. Okay, guys. Good afternoon, everyone. How is everyone doing? How's the show going? Yeah, good stuff, huh? Great, great. Well, Toy Fair is really a celebration of the creativity and innovation that our members bring to the world for the magic of play and toys. And every year, as a lot of you know, we look at the trends that deliver a lot of this innovation and creativity. And what we have here are really our trend experts today that are, that are going to be showing you uh, some representative samples of some of the trends from the show floor. We have Jackie Retzer, <laughs> Adrian Appel, and Isabel Carrion Lopez. And so with that, enjoy. Okay, so I'm gonna kick us off with our first trend, which is all about tech. We're seeing a lot of drones, robots, and toys to life toys. Um, and whether these toys are in the air or on the ground, these playthings are letting kids do some ama amazing things. They're teaching kids coding, engineering, building, problem solving skills, and we're seeing these developmental benefits start with these tech toys at a, as early as age three with some coding with very tactile products, which is awesome. So these toys are mashing true innovation with affordable technology, and it's creating a very interactive, engaging experience for the child. Um, so I'm sure as you walk the floor, you'll see tons of tech, but I brought some to show with me today. This first one is the pocket drone from Odyssey Toys. So I have it being demoed up here, and also it's right here. It's um, equipped with a high-def camera. It can fly for seven minutes. Both the controller and the drone are about the size of an iPhone 6, which is awesome. So it's designed to be small, affordable, super lightweight, um, and easy to control. Thank you. And fits in your pocket. <laughs> Um, next up, I'm going to show big robots from Sepia Toys. So this is a talking, remote-controlled robot. Each robot has its own personality, and it's a fighting robot that the kid controls with their hands. So it reacts when it's in battle. Um, when it gets hit, it knows when it's winning or when it's losing. There's a light on the robot's chest that will show how much health it has left, which is really awesome. So it's kind of like a robot that your kid will be able to connect with and control. Next, I'm going to do... Um, Chip, is that okay? Yeah. Chip the dog from Wowie Toys. So this is a robotic, pet-controlled toy that works off of a smart band. So the Chip the dog is in your house. If your child's wearing the smart band, he'll follow you around. Um, he can dance with you. Oh. Oh. So he's totally customizable. It, gets the dog to have somewhat of an emotional connection, yeah, um, with your child. And, you know, after they follow you around, he'll let you know if he needs to be recharged. This is from Uncle Milton. This is super cool. It's in my room, Space Expedition. So this piece right ha here will put the galaxy on your child's wall, and it comes with an activity guide that can show your child what you're seeing. But then when your kid puts on the goggles, they are immersed in the world themselves. And as you turn when you're wearing them, you'll see in 360 degrees the Milky Way, the whole galaxy. Right up here from Aldi Toys, this is the Sky Rover voice activated missile fire. So I'm going to ask for a quick demo. It is totally voice activated and it comes with eight missiles that can fire out of it. So as she's speaking into the voice control, it will tell her, she'll tell it to Fly up, turn left, turn right. Um, it's incredibly easy to drive. It comes with a USB. Go ahead, you can put it up when you're ready. Mm. Maybe we'll see it fly in a second. I'm going to move to the next until you're ready. Dash and Dot from Wonder Workshop. I'm going to run a state machine program that teaches children how to program in a fun and visual way. To start the program, I'm going to hit the top button. Dash is going to perform an animation. The next, I'm going to use the sensors. He's going to burp and back, back up. I'm going to use the front sensor. Oh, sorry, I'm going to use the top button again to have him dance to the left. I'm going to lift him up to demonstrate a programming loop. 
So it's a fun visual way to teach children how to program interacting with a robot. Can we see the sky rover real quick? Turn right. You turn. So she's saying turn right, you turn. It's Missile totally fire. activated by her voice. And then it will shoot out. Missile fire. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, last but not least, I want to show um, Cognitoy's Dino, and this is from Elemental Pass. So he's not on right now because we don't have Wi-Fi, but he's a speech-based educational dinosaur, and he's merged with IBM technology. So what he does is it's totally screen-free, and your child can sync up to it by just starting a conversation, talking with it, and slowly he builds more and more content and vocabulary to tell jokes, ask questions, and really become a robotic friend for your kid. Um, and the next trend here is Adrian. Hi, everybody. I'm Adriana Powell. I am another toy trend specialist here at TIA. And my trend is all about family matters. So Jackie's just wowed you with everything new in tech. And this is some more of classic play. Um, one of the trends we are noticing is obviously tech is huge. But as most of you have seen from the NPD numbers, you know, toys are up in just about every category. So that really speaks to the permanence and trend of traditional play. Um, you know, Toys that I played with, you played with, they're here. But here are some new twists on some old classics and some classics reimagined, I guess you could say. So, First off, this is the real cooking line, and what I love about this is it's a baking line, but it actually uses real ingredients that you have in your kitchen. So we all know that kids love to do just what mom and dad do. So what better way to let your daughter know you're making and son make you're making cookies together, but they're grabbing the butter out of the fridge. Um, it comes with some really cool features like this kid-friendly mixing bowl. It, this is a prototype, but it actually will suction to the table. So when your kid's mixing, they're not knocking it over. And you'll see here these are kind of some of the creations you can make. Um, really what's trending today, you know, mini cupcakes, you can do donuts, you can do rainbow cookies. This is the starter set, so this is really, really fun. Now, this may look like part of the real baking line, but it is not. This is from Goliath Games, and this is called Spicy Games. What they are is they look like little shakers of mixing, but they're actually 10-minute games that families can play together over the dinner table. So I thought the creation, is it's just so cute and inventive, but it's really about that game snacking and playing on the go. So families connecting over dinner from the spice rack, so pretty cool. Now this is called Props in a Box. What this is, I'm gonna show you right here, this actually comes with a backdrop and some creative role play items. So kids can dress up, but there's also a movie making app involved. So you see here, here's a dinosaur tail, a pirate hat. This came out right around the holidays. It did really, really well. What's new for this year is props in a bag. So this is just a little bit of a smaller version. It's a lower price point, but you can still use the app. So I really think this is a fun way for families to connect. Mom and dad can be in the movie, or they can record their kid. Um, so really, really fun and a new take on class. I mean, kids have been dressing up forever, so I love how it's merging the two. Then we also have from Ibu. This is a storytelling line. And this is just, in, they have story cards and a story book. And it's just encouraging families to play together. So there are different cards where you can, with the youngest of kids, kind of work together to tell a story and really a new take on, you know, let's create a story together. Um, this is a really fun too. This is um, from the Irish Fairy Door Company. And this is, you actually get a fairy door. It's similar to almost like an elf on the shelf or a mensch on the bench, but this is a big, huge problem very big in Ireland right now, but you actually register your child's fairy. So it's a family activity. You'll name the fairy. You can leave treats for the fairy. They also have a whole online component where the fairy will remind you of holidays. It'll know where the kid's birthday is. It will come up with new activities that the family can do together. So again, it's all about connecting, um, almost like a pet, a pet fairy at home. So, And you get to move the door and put it in different places. And then, last but not least, this is a prototype. But this is from Moose Toys, and this is a selfie mic. So what better way? You can karaoke and create your own music videos at home. Um, you know, you, it will have downloadable music, popular tunes, and your mom, dad, brother, sister, you know, from three to 65. I think people will enjoy playing with this. So um, that's just some of the things. So I think what's important to note is that families are connecting through a variety of play. You know, when you think family, you think game. And yes, game's part of it. But see all these creative ways that, you know, toy makers are really bringing families together through play. 
All right. Well, thank you again for coming. And I'm going to talk about STEAM. Uh, STEAM is short for Science, Technology, Engineering, Arts, and Math. And toys that teach those five areas are very big right now. Um, these toys are also great uh, for parents love them and teachers love them because they not only teach kids, but they also enhance the learning experience. And they're great for them developing their critical thinking, spatial, problem solving abilities, as well as other areas like languages and communications. So here's um, a sample of some of the toys that we're seeing on the floor. Um, what's interesting to note is even though some of these toys might focus on specific areas like science or math, um, all of them have this artistic sort of creative component to them where kids can really make the toy their own um, and, and sort of let go of that imagin imaginative play. So I'm going to start over here with the Mighty Makers by Kinex. And this is one of the newest additions to the popular Mighty Makers line. It is great for obviously honing your engineering skills because the kid has to uh, build the set and sort of figure out how to connect all the pieces. Obviously, there's instructions, but you know what's more fun than trying to figure it out on your own? Um, but it also has this great component where you have this stand here, which allows you to place your phone inside, and then you can film a movie, which you can then put the phone in, inside of here in the big screen and play that movie. So your friends can sit at the movie theater and watch the movie. So th again, honing your engineering skills, but also letting loose of your creative skills. The next toy is this uh, math explosion game by the Young Scientist Club. And this is obviously specifically geared towards enhancing kids' math skills. But it's a really fun game because they, are, they have to figure out the, the different math problems that they're presented with, and they slowly build up to whoever gets it all first gets to explode the volcano. And if that's not a motivator to get those math problems right, I don't know what is. And by the way, this is great for unclogging drinks, too. <laughs> um, then moving on, we have the uh, Smart Scope by Ravensburger. And this is actually a microscope where the magnifying arm is your camera app on your phone or on your, on your tablet. So, all you need to do, basically, is turn on your camera app, you align the lens of the phone with the, with the lens on the microscope, and then you are going to see the um, thing, whatever you have in there magnified. It's kind of hard to see, but hopefully I have a ladybug in there and some sugar. And essentially, you can pretty much put anything in there that you want to put to sort of you know, magnify it and take a look at it. Um, and it's great, f it's really small and portable. So this is great for kids to just take outside with them and start to explore the world around them. They could put um, small insects, leaves, coins, anything that's small that they can find around the house and fits in the microscope, they can sort of play around with and explore. Then we have here the VEX Robotics, and this is one in a line of several um, VEX Robotics. This is the forklift uh, mach ball machine. And uh, as the name implies, it's basically a forklift that will lift the balls around. So the child that has to build a toy and then can play around with it. And basically, besides the building component of it, he's sort of learning also the different engineering uh, concepts that go into operating the robot. But the robot can also be motorized, and it can be combined with the other um, robots in the line to create one big motorized ball machine and sort of make it all uh, integrate together. So again, great uh, for those engineering skills and taking it how f however far the child wants to take it. Next up is this robot mouse by Learning Resources. And this is uh, similar to what we saw with Jackie. It's actually a game that teaches kids how to code and sequence and think logically. Uh, the mouse is, has different programming sequences that you can use. And the goal of the game is to get the mouse to the cheese, right? So the child has to sort of figure out how is it going to do that. And they have these little cards here that teach you what the different steps are. So you move forward, that's a blue arrow. Uh, you move to the right, it's a purple arrow, etc. So if you see, my mouse is trained to go front, go right, then go front, and once he gets the cheese, he makes a little sound. Right. 
So this is great, again, for, lear for kids to learning, to lear to learning to code, but as the child grows and he becomes more proficient, he could actually not use the maze, he could use the floor, and then he would have to figure out how, how many sequences to program the mouse to get to the cheese, and he could create intricate uh, series. Okay. Next is the Planet piece by Faber-Castell. And this is part of their grow line. And essentially what you have here is an activity kit that allows you to get creative with your toy. So they have this tray that actually turns into a peace sign for planting. But before you do that, you can color it, make it yours by you know, doing coloring it, decorating it, whatnot. And then you put the plants inside and see them grow. So it really just kind of teaches you the science of health of growing plants. And then, but also it's creative enough that, you know, you can sort of make it your own. And then very last but not least is the Power Clicks Adventures. And this is magnetic building blocks that they have designed with their own language. So you have three different components. You have your frames, your solids, and your organics. And basically what you have to do is you, you can either build what you see in the box or you can just make it your own again take it the next level and build, build whatever you want with the different pieces that you're provided. What's really cool though about this series is that it has an actual character and it comes with a story, the story of the space guys, the adventures of space guy. And they're actually illustrated and designed by a Brooklyn 16 year old artist. So aside from the building experience, you also have the creative and imaginative play aspect to it because it also has its own backdrop so you can really sort of take it you know wherever you want you build the toy and then you go from there let your imagination go so these are just some of the many examples of steam toys we're seeing on the floor and I'll let Jackie continue <clears throat> uh, thank you the next trend we're going to be talking about is called coveted collectibles so collectibles have been a long time favorite for children, um, and we're in 2016 seeing these collectible toys everywhere. I'm sure you're seeing a lot as you walk the floor. Kids gravitate to collectibles for a number of reasons. Sometimes it's because they have their favorite characters or brands, and they use them for open-ended play, which is incredibly important. Or on the other side of the spectrum, it's also for socialization. Kids are using all these collectibles to trade and hang out with friends and create their own storylines. Play, by the way, of collectibles is a bit educational in itself. It can teach children patience and perseverance if they're waiting to collect the, their whole group, perhaps organization if they want to keep them in order, or tone their negotiation skills when they have collectibles and they're trading with friends. I'll go through, uh, through a few examples. This first one is Lionel's um, Mickey night, uh, Holiday to Remember train set. So when you think collectibles, you go to train sets, and of course we think of Lionel. This one's remote controlled, and it has Mickey and the other Disney characters around the train set. It's a new collectible, and it's ready to play. Next up, these are Whiffer Sniffers. So these are character-scented driven collectibles, and they come in larger plush, keychains and stickers, and these are really about kids trading with their friends. It actually became huge on YouTube and kids were reviewing the different scents. I have blueberry and strawberry cupcake up here with me. Um, but what it's about is a lot of kids are hanging in on their backpacks and going around school and, and trading and playing with their friends. Up here by Future of Play, these are some soccer stars. So these are mini figurines that are incredibly detailed. These are European soccer players I have with me, but obviously as kids are watching their games, following their favorite teams, they're gonna wanna collect all of their favorite sports stars, and whether it's soccer, MLB, NHL, NFL, you're gonna see them all on the show floor. This is Kitty Club, and also Zomlings are up here. So these are more play building set collectibles that also come in these blind packs. Um, so these, Kitty Club comes with 21 different um, kitties, and Zomlings have over 100 characters, but each one comes with an ID card that tells you your character's name, personality, so it can be open under play, but it can also be guided, and obviously these blind packs are great for seeing what you get if you want to trade with friends. The Zomlings blind packs are little houses for the zombies, so it's not only a pack, but it's something that kids are gonna want to keep. And finally, Big Figs from Jack Specific. They saw that kids were 
loving collectibles and they're using licensed characters. I have Batman and Superman up here, but they have a lot more, including Star Wars. And they come in 18 inches or 31 inches and they're collectible figurines that are more like larger dolls that kids are gonna love to collect all their favorites. Kind of talk about the last trend, which is the ultimate creator. So we know kids love to create, but just like every kid has different interests, there are just so many different ways to create. So we really just wanted to point out kind of the vastness of this trend. So starting off, this is the Spark Lab line from Creativity for Kids. Um, it's where kids can invent all different things. And invent your own new toy, I thought was the most appropriate for this presentation. Uh, they may put a few of you out of business with the kids creation, but um, I think it's really fun to let kids kind of come and create. And what better way for kids to express their creativity than to create something that they want to play with. So it's the ultimate toy for any kid. And this comes with like different wheels, styrofoam, duct tape, rubber bands, pipe cleaners. Um, and like I said, there's a whole line of different things that kids can create. Then we have from Klutz. This is creating ooh, the battle bots. So using paper, you're going to create your own battling robots. As we mentioned before, you know, in tech robots are a trend, and you'll see that trickle down to a bunch of different aisles. So that's from Klutz, and Klutz is really well known for all of their creative books and different activity sets. Um, so next we have Sweetheart Storage from Ravensburger. So you can make these amazing creations you see here, but I don't know if you can tell from the back of the room, all of this is made out of puzzle pieces. So it's creating with puzzle play. Um, we have a jewelry set here, a pencil cup here. So again, just being able to kind of take play patterns that kids love and merge it with something else to create is really amazing. And then over here, this is an example of creating with 3D printing. So this is from Peacemakers. Um, right now, they do have some kiosks where you can um, do some 3D printing in store. What's going to be new for this year is they just signed a license with Ford. So you can see some examples here. So kids will actually go to the kiosks and be able to design their own toys and um, bring them home with them. So that, that's pretty cool. Um, and now, on a new take on 3D printing, this is the I Do 3D pen from Redwood Ventures. Now, you can see it's just like this, and it, it heats up, but it's completely safe. It's, um, and kids can actually build creations like this. So you're, you're building in 3D. So I have an Eiffel Tower here, but um, I've seen some large and vast creations. So it's a kind of a spin on 3D printing that's really allowing kids to take their artwork and crafts to the next level. And then finally, last but not least, is Megatrax from Lionel. And you can see here, kids can actually build their own tracks. And then you can use the remote control car to kind of do amazing creation. So I've seen it hanging from the ceiling, from the floor. But the best part about it is that kids are constantly building and it's evolving so that the track becomes their own and they can put together tracks and can have a new play experience every time. Thank you, I love that one. So um, that's just a quick overview. You know, as we all mentioned, there, you know, there's thousands and thousands of toys that would fit into these trends. You know, these are some great examples, but I'm sure you'll be able to find many more on the show floor. And if you have any questions for us, um, we'll be milling around. And um, we just want to thank all of you for coming today.